The Faith and Fire with Megan Fortner podcast aims to light a fire that not only sheds light on who you are, what you have, and what you can do because you choose Christ, but also spreads as a contagious spirit of faith that has to be caught. We want you to live the life God has for you and for you to receive all that awaits you. Megan's goal is to use Facebook Live conversations and testimony each week to teach you to grow in faith, hope, love, and authority while stoking your fire to fight the fight of faith. Welcome to the Faith and Fire podcast with Megan Fortner. Hey everyone, how are we doing today? Um, I was strongly led to come on here today and just share some revelation, just speak to you today. Can we just do that today? Just speak to you. As you can see, I have product in my hair. I, you know, I'm not all dustied up or whatever, but God can use us no matter where we are. God uses us where we're at. God speaks to us. So today he was speaking to me and I just want to share some word with you. And I just want to give you a word of encouragement because you don't need to stay there. It's time to get up out of that deep, dark dark pit. It's time for us to get up. It's time to us to rise up. It's time for us to get up. And I know that there's a spirit of depression. I know there's a spirit of just wanting to stay in and and fear and all those things. Well, we're, we're binding that today. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're casting that out today. Hallelujah. But one thing that I want to tell you is you're never alone. God is always in the room with the child of God. You are never alone. Never, ever are you alone. He is always with you. And what I love about him is it took me to take a second to say, okay, boys, it's time for a break from uh, homeschool. I'm going to go on and do some dishes and stuff. And then the Lord just started dropping things down in my heart. And I started listening to some music. Have you ever listened to some music? And then just the word of God just wells up in the inside of it. It's like, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's for you. That's for you. Hallelujah. And I was just listening to some music today and some deposits were just dropping in my spirit. And so then I had to drop everything I was doing and go get a pen because scriptures were falling and everything was just falling. So I'm writing these scriptures down. I'm looking them up and I'm, I'm doing all those things because the Lord's just depositing something strong in me. And so I just want to share it with you today, if you don't mind. So we're going to go to Deuteronomy 31, 8, and it says, Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never He will never fail you nor abandon you. This is Deuteronomy 31, 8. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never fail you nor abandon you. So number one, if you're sitting there saying, I can't do this. I just don't know how I'm going to make it. I just don't want no don't know what's going to happen. First of all, take those thoughts captive right now and say, I know how I'm going to do it. My God never leaves me nor abandons me. He goes ahead of me. He will never fail me. And he never, he's always with me. First of all, take that and say, no, start building yourself up and just say, no, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be discouraged. I'm not going to sit in this pit. I'm not going to sit here anymore in my sorrow. I'm not going to sit here anymore in depression. I'm not going to sit here anymore in these things. No, I'm going to Take it, and I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not, for the Lord will personally go ahead of me. He will be with me. He will neither fail me nor abandon me. Hallelujah. That's Deuteronomy 31, 8. And then I want to tell you this. After you start to rise up and you say, no, uh uh-uh, nope, I'm not going to stay here. My God is around me. He's here in the room with me right now. He never leaves me. I'm never alone. He's taking care of me. Hallelujah. Then we go to 1 Peter 5, 7. And in the the Passion Translation, it says, Pour out all your worries and stress upon him and leave them there. For he always tenderly cares for you. So now since you've got up out of the darkness, you've got up out of all of that depression, you've got, you've sat there and you've, you've leaned up, right? You've now leaned up because you're like, no, I'm not listening to this anymore. I am leaning into what the word says. And I'm saying that I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be depressed for the Lord will personally go ahead of me. He's with me. He's here in the room with me right now. Now you're going to say, I'm going to cast all these cares on the Lord, all these depressions, all these thoughts, all these feelings, all these things that are going through my head, all these things that are keeping me grounded from doing what God wants me to do, all these things that are keeping me in my bed, all these things that are keeping me on the couch, all these things that are keeping me from going out. I'm going to cast my worries and stress upon him. I'm going to leave them there. After I cast my worries and cares and tell him, I'm not taking this devil. I'm not doing this. God, I'm giving you this. This, this thing, this, whatever is bothering me, I'm putting it here. I'm leaving it here. 
It just says, leave them there for he always tenderly cares for you. First Peter 5, 7 in the passion. Hallelujah. So now we know that God never leaves us nor forsakes us. And we told the devil that. We told ourselves that because we're sitting here in this deep, dark hole because we've allowed the devil to tell us things that we are not. We've allowed things or circumstances or people or whatever to get us in this spot. And we've allowed those feelings and those thoughts and all those things to roll around in our head and roll around us, all around us. And we've just allowed those hyssoping things to come into our ears. So then we're like, no, I'm not doing this. God is with me in this pit. The Holy Spirit is with me here. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. And you know what? All this that's weighing on me right now, I'm going to cast it out on the Lord and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to pick it back up. I'm going to cast it out on the Lord. Then guess what we're going to do? We're going to go to Nehemiah 8.10. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. So now I'm going to go to joy. I'm going to get my strength. Now I'm going to stand. I'm going to get up out of this pit because I know that now I have the strength of the Lord. Because why? I have recognized that my God is with me. My, I don't have to stay here in this deep, deep, dark pit. I don't have to stay in that bed. I don't have to stay in that chair. I don't have to stay here and cover up and turn all the lights off because I just don't want to do it today. I just can't. So we recognize he's in the room. We recognize he's with us in Deuteronomy 31, 8. Then we have said that I'm casting all my cares in 1 Peter 5, 7. I'm casting them there and I'm leaving there. Then I'm going to laugh because I'm going to get the joy of the Lord because it is my strength. It's going to give me the strength to get up out of this pit. Then we're going to go. <clears throat> Turn with me to uh, John 5, 8. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to John 5, 8. And Jesus told him, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. Stand up. Get the joy of the Lord. Get full of the Holy Spirit. Stand up. Don't stay there. We're not staying in this deep, dark depression. We're not staying in this dark pit, guys. Come on, no. We're rising up. We're getting the joy of the Lord. We're speaking the word of God. We know that God is with us here. We're now going to take the blanket off and say, no, God is with me. No, I'm not staying here. I'm not, even if I don't feel it right now, I know I'm going to get it because he is with me. He's in this room. Hallelujah. He's always with me. I'm casting all this out right now in the name of blood of Jesus. Jesus. Devil, you cannot put this stuff on me no more. I don't care what anybody's saying. I don't care what the circumstances look like. I'm giving it to the Lord and I'm trusting in him and everything because he takes care of me. He's with me. He never leaves me. Then we're going to have the joy of the Lord. We're going to go out of his presence laughing. Hallelujah. We're going to come out. We're going to stand up. We're going to pick up our mat and we are going to walk. We are going to take that and get rid of it. We are going to walk. We're not going to stay here as a lame person and be like, Jesus, help me. No, we're going to do it. We're going to stand up. He's telling you, stand up, arise. Now is the time. There's another one that I've, he gave me, which is Jeremiah 117. And this one's good, y'all. Listen to me. We're getting out of this depression. We're getting out of this dark pit. We're not staying there anymore. We're not going to put the covers over our head and say, oh, I can't handle this. I can't do this. Oh, no, you can't in your own. That's why the Holy Spirit's on the inside of you. That's why you speak the word. That's why you start encouraging yourself in the word. Get some music on. I put some music on today and woo, was I strengthened and powered up. I was singing, dancing, jumping, praising, glory to God. And I wasn't even feeling any kind of way, but I just knew I needed that. I needed that encouragement for myself. I needed that for myself. But here we are, okay? We're in Jeremiah 1, 17. And it says, get up and prepare for action. Get up. Pick up your mat. Get up. All he's asking you right now, the command is to get up. Get up. Speak. My God takes care of me. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. He's with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, you never leave me. Thank you that I can stand up because you are with me. Thank you that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to laugh because no matter what the circumstances look like, I know you're taking care of me. Then he says, pour out all your worries and stress upon me. Leave them here. Pour them out. Leave them there. Don't take them back again. Leave them there. Come on. And then we're going to laugh and we're going to have joy. Come on, Jeremiah 1, 17 says, get up and prepare for action. Go out and tell them everything I tell you to say. Do not be afraid of them or I will make you look foolish in front of them. For see, today I have made you strong like a fortified city that cannot be captured. Like an iron pillar or a bronze wall, you will stand against the whole land. The kings, officials, priests, and people of Judah, they will fight you, but they will fail. For I am with you and I will take care of you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Come on, y'all. God is before you. God is all around you. He never leaves you. He always is with you. He never fails you. The word of God never fails you. Take the blanket off. 
Get up off the mat. Get up off the bed. Get up off the couch. Get up out of the depression. Get up out of the anxiety. Get up out of the worry. Get up out of all the things that are weighing you down. Once you get up, now cast it out on the Lord. Cast it on the Lord and leave it there. Go out. Shake off. Here we go to Matthew 10, 14. Shake off the dust of the past. No matter what has came against you, no matter what is in your past, no matter what's put you here, guess what? You have arisen. You have arisen. You are now strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. You are now knowing that the Lord is with you. You are now ready to go out and do. You picked up your mat. Now guess what you do? Shake off your feet. Shake it off. Shake up all the things. Shake it off. All the things that have held you captive in this one place. Shake it off. Leave it there. Don't visit it. Just like it says in 1 Peter 5, 7, the Passion Translation. Pour out all your worries and stress upon him and leave it there. Leave it there. So once you shake off that dust off your feet, because you've arisen, you have got up, you have got out of the pit, you have got the joy of the Lord. He has strengthened you because of it, because you know that he is always with you. You know that he never leaves you. You know that he never forsakes you. You know that he takes care of you. You know that his word is true. You know that his promises are for you. Come on. So now we're going to get up, take the blanket off, get out of the bed. We're going to get up. We're going to give him all our cares. We're going to tell the devil, no, I'm done. I'm not taking this anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm not going to listen to this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I am following the Lord. I'm doing what the Lord asked me to do. He is my strength. He is my provider. I don't have to worry about that because God's given me a word and that word is going to come to pass. I'm going to speak it. I'm going to believe it. I'm going to walk in it. I'm not going to waver from it. And I'm going to have joy because that's my strength. Come on. And then shake off the dust whatever puts you there that puts you stationary that put that blanket over your head that made you sleep in that bed and stay in that bed whatever made you stay con confined wherever you are because you just don't want to do it because there's so much on you shake that off you've given it to him shake it off now we're going to walk out into the plan and purpose that god has for you because jeremiah 1 17 says get up and prepare for action get out and tell them everything i tell you do not be afraid of them or I will make you look foolish in front of them. For see, today I have made you strong like a forfeited city, a forfeited city that cannot be captured. Like an iron pillar or a bronze wall, you will stand against the whole land, the kings, officials, priests, and people of Judah. They will fight you, but they will fail. For I am with you. I will take care of you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Come on, somebody. That's, this message is for somebody because, look, I've got other scriptures written down here. Like, I was just getting an implant an implant of scriptures and I was reading over them and I was going through them and I'm like all right Lord I know you have a message I know you've spoken I know somebody out there right now is like I need something I am tired of being in this spot I'm tired of feeling like this I'm tired of all this so let me tell you God is in that room with you right now and he says do not be afraid or dismayed I am here I am taking care of you Cast your cares and worries and burdens on me. Cast it on me. Then I will give you the strength. Get in the joy. Get in my presence. I will give you strength. I will give you a word in due season. I will give you a word to stand on. But guess what? We're picking up our mat. We're shaking off the dust of the past. And we are going forward. And we are saying no to depression. We are saying no to anxiety. We are saying no to staying stagnant. We are saying no to that. We are saying, I am doing what the Lord is calling me to do, devil. And you better be afraid every morning that I wake up. Every day that I wake up, every step that I take, every word that I say, you better be afraid. Because it is going to go against everything that you try to tell me. Because I know that I'm a child of God. I know I'm seated in heavenly places. You may have got me down for a second, but guess what? I'm up. Now you better be afraid. Hallelujah. You have the authority. The spirit lives on the inside of you. And when we go to the word, when we just start speaking the word that comes up out of your heart, when you're in that dark pit and you're sitting there and the devil's just saying all these things and these circumstances or people or things are piling on you and you're sitting there in that moment. And then you're having that moment, but then you transition, you flip the switch and you say, God, I need you. And you know what happens in that moment? When you take your focus away from everything else that's happening and all the things that are going on, all the things the devil's trying to tell you, and you flip the switch and you say, God, I'm done with this. I need you. 
he comes right there and he's in with you. And he gives you a word and he says, listen to me, child. Come on, get up. Pick up your mat and walk. We're not staying here. Pick it up. Once you pick it up, let's shake all that dust off that's kept you. You know, when the devil tries to pile the dust on you, shake it off. Just take a step, take a step, take a step. Ha ha, no, you're not going to put me here. You're not going to bind me. You're not going to do that. I've got the blood of Jesus running in my veins. Hallelujah, because he lives on the inside of me. I have power and authority. I do not have to take this anymore. I, you may have got me for a second. You're not getting it again. I'm not staying here. I'm not staying right here. I'm not going to let you lie to me anymore because I know I'm a child of God. I know I'm forgiven. I know I'm loved. I know I'm precious. And I know I have a purpose. Even if my purpose purpose is in my home, taking care of my children, raising my children, taking care of my home, taking care of my husband, being the light whenever I go out where I go. Everywhere I go, I shine like a beacon of light. Come on. Don't stay down. You can have a second. Take a second. Put it all in and then say, nope, okay, I, I've, ex I've listened to it, but guess what? I'm cutting it off at the root because no bad root is connecting to me. No bad thought is staying in this mind. No bad emotion is staying on me. I'm going to be happy and full of joy. I am going to have strength. I'm going to have joy that's above all understanding, even in your circumstances. But my encouragement to you today is he is in the room with you right now. No matter what you're going through, what you feel like right now, I encourage you to pour all your worries and stress and care out on him right now. Wherever you're at, the feelings that you're having, the thoughts that you're having, if they don't line up with the word of God, you say them to the Lord. I'm feeling this way. I have these thoughts. I'm casting them out because I know they don't line up with you. God, I'm not going to take these feelings anymore. I'm going to put the feelings of the Lord. I'm going to put the strength of the Lord. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to listen to you, Lord, in this time. And I'm going to speak the word of God. And I'm going to stand bold and confident. I'm going to walk into your throne room because that is right standing that you have now because of Jesus. Cast your cares on the Lord. Speak the word. Know that he's in the room with you. Know that he wants to speak to you. Shut all the rest off, all the, the lying, nagging things that go through your mind and your emotions. Shut them off right now and just give God your time. Put your focus on the Lord. Then he will tell you, I'm here. All right, here's the word that I have for you. Come on, get up, pick up your mat and walk. Let's go, get up. The first step of obedience and faith is getting up. Getting up, trusting the Lord, taking each step hand in hand with him. Focusing on him and his word. Getting in his presence. And his presence is the fullness of all things. Whatever I have need of. If I feel weak, he makes me strong. If I feel sick, I know I'm healed. If I feel depressed, I know he's going to bring me strength. I know he's going to take that away from me. Because I'm casting it on him. And he's giving me what I need. When I can get out what I don't need, he can give me more of what I do need. Get it out. Let it go. He says, cast it all out. You're never alone. God's in the room. Stand up, pick up your mat and walk. He's protecting you. They will try to fight you, but they will fail for he is with you and he will take care of you. Come on, come on. And then he says, shake off the dust of the past. What does it matter? Shake it off, let it go. Get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. It's done. You've, you've asked forgiveness or you've, you've done what you need to do. You followed the Lord. It ain't even truth. Shake it off. If it ain't true, don't even accept it. Get rid of it. It ain't even worth weighing you down. Don't let it put you in a pit. People are talking. It ain't even true. Let it go. You are in the Lord. What does it matter? Come on. Speak the word of God. And then you're going to come out of that pit with the joy of the Lord and your strength. Because it is him that makes you whole, gives you strength, gives you peace, and guides you every step that you take. Come on. Today is the day that you're going to shake off the dust of the past. You're not going to think about it anymore. That's done. It's over with. Quit picking up the things that you've put down. Quit trying to let the devil put more dirt on top of you to keep you bound. He can't bind a child of God unless you allow him to. Shake it off. Take a step. Each piece of dirt. Say, I was made for this. I was made for this. I was born for this. I was made for this. I'm a child of God. I was made to fight the fight of faith. And then you cast it all on him. To each step, you cast it. 
And then God will put deposits of truth in the inside of you. He's already got it there. But you got to get in the word. You got to get in his presence. You got to focus on him. You got to turn away from all the problems and all the issues and say, nope, I'm shutting that off. And I'm focusing on you. I'm going to leave you with this. I'll put the scriptures that God gave me. There's more here that I have, but um, I'll put them all in the comments. So you can go and look at them yourself. Make a battle plan. Come on. If depression is something that binds you constantly or every now and then, make a battle plan. That when you start to feel that depression sink in because you're like, oh, I don't want to get up today. You say, no, uh, no, I'm getting up. I'm arising. I'm going to go. I'm going to pick up my mat. I'm going to walk because the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm casting this out. This ain't a part of me. Hallelujah, because I'm a child of God. And then you start to walk in that. Then you start to rejoice and just speak the word. And then you just stay in his presence. But I'm going to leave you with this. Because I know um, <clears throat> depression and stress and anxiety are things that the devil tries to put on us hard and heavy in these days. And the one thing that the Lord said to me one time when things were just, you know, people were speaking, things were just going crazy all around me. I was hearing all these things and I was starting to get, I could feel myself wanting to be in the flesh. You can, you know when you're in the flesh because you start to get hot headed and you start to get, you know, you feel it. You know when your flesh is starting to take over or you're, you're starting to kind of get in your emotions about some things that you know you're going the wrong direction. Because you may be right, but you're still going to be wrong if you act the wrong way. And so things were coming, and it's just going hard. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my gosh. And then the Lord spoke to me so kindly. He said, keep your gaze on me. Focus on me. And he says, if you don't look at it, I will shut it up. I will shut the noise up. Keep your eyes on me. I will shut it all up. And I said, yes, Lord. That's what I'm going to do. And I promise you, serious as I'll get out. I don't hear a thing. I don't see a thing. I don't hear a thing. Why? Because when God tells you something, it's going to come to pass. It may take some time because we have to grow. We can't just expect everything if we're not going to grow in him and just expect him to do everything when we're not even really doing what God's wanting us to do or being in the word or being obedient to him. You can't expect everything to fall on your lap when you're not even being obedient. And sometimes your obedience and the time frame that he has is because the next level that he's taking you to, there needs to be a lot of growth and pruning going on. Embrace the pruning process. It's all for good. God works all things for good. Everything that God does for you is for your good. And you'll see it. You'll see it. But focus on the Lord. When the circumstances and things kind of get crazy and they start to weigh you down, put your focus on him. Know that he's in the room with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Pour out all these things that are coming upon you that you know is heavy. Just give it to him instantly. Leave it there. Don't pick it back up because the devil's going to try to make you pick it up. Maybe five minutes after you've already done it. Maybe the next day or maybe a week later or maybe even a minute later. He's going to try to make you pick that stuff back up. No, when you throw your trash out, you don't go back out there and pick out your trash and say, oh, I'm going to hold on to this trash for a little while longer. No, you throw it out. You don't even think about it. The trash man's going to come get it. You just leave it there. That's exactly what we need to do with all our burdens and all our cares and all our problems and circumstances. You put them on the Lord, you leave them there, and you walk out of the presence of God stronger than you've ever been. And you say, guess what? God's taking care of me. He's shutting all that noise off. Why? Because my focus is firmly planted on him. Then you know what you do? You shake off the dust. After you throw the trash out, you go like this, right? Ew. Shake off the dust. Shake it off. All of you. Take your feet. Put your feet down. You know, like when you got snow or mud on your boots and you kick your feet before you take your boots off? Do that. Shake it off. Put it off. Done with it. I'm not even going back there. I'm done with it. Lord's already taking care of it. He fights my battles. I'm going to do what he calls me to do. I'm going to stay in the word. And then you're going to go out with joy, unspeakable, and strength. And that mat, you're going to pick it up. You're going to roll it up. Cast it out into the sea. Mark 11, 23. For your God is with you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. And when you cast that care down, you leave it there. He says, leave it there. Don't pick it back up. Don't go. When you start to feel yourself spiraling, go. Focus on the Lord and just say, ah, nope. Okay, God, I can feel myself getting tense. I can feel myself I can feel myself going away. I don't need to go, Lord. I, I'm coming to you. I'm giving it to you. And instantly, instantly, in an instant, those feelings and emotions change because you're in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then it changes because you put your focus on him and you've turned from him knowing that your body's going in a direction you don't need to go. Your thoughts are going in a direction you don't need to go. You've turned to him. And now he's like, I can do something with that. So get up out of the bed. 
take the cover off. Open, open, let the light in. Say, devil, we're done. Your time is up. You're done. You're done. I'm shaking the dust off. I'm moving forward. I don't care what's back there. I'm moving forward into the plan and purpose that God has for me. I'm not staying bound. You are never bound as a child of God. Don't allow the devil to make you think that you are. Even when circumstances get hard, the trying of our faith produces patience and character. Come on. Let God prune you. Stay in his presence. If it gets to cast it on the Lord. Go in his presence. Just don't allow the devil to bind you. And if you get bound and you recognize it, when you recognize it, because you will, you just say, ah, nope, 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 I'm not. God is with me. He takes care of me. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. And then as you start to speak the word, you build yourself up. You're building yourself up. You're getting the strength. Put the armor on. God's got you on all sides. Don't let the devil make you feel, put you somewhere that you ain't even called to, called to be. You are elevated. Praise God. Praise God. I love you. And um, I just, I know this is something strong that's going in the world today because I've heard, I'm noticing pastors speak about it too, but I just know that this is something that God has put in my heart to encourage and strengthen people in because God gives us all something to share. And I know the fight of faith is something strong that he's put on me, but I also want you to know that, that you don't allow, you don't have to allow even the tiniest thing to stay in your life that the devil's trying to put in there. You can trust God, believe God, speak his word, stand on his word. The devil has to flee. Don't even let the tiniest thing, don't even let the devil have the tiniest thing. Cast it out in the name and blood of Jesus. So today we're going to get up. We're going to pick up our mat. We're going to shake off the dust of the past. We're not going to stay there. We're going to speak the word of God. We're going to get in his presence, keep our focus on him, and we're going to cast everything on him and leave it there. We're going to walk out of his presence full of joy, full of the glory of God, full of his, full of the spirit, full of love, peace, goodness, kindness, faithfulness. Hallelujah. For he is good and his mercy endures forever. And he's always with you. He's always in the room. All you got to do is just say, God, Jesus. Boom. He shows up like a mighty rushing wind. And changes the way you feel in an instant. That's how good he is. So rise up. Pick up your mat. Throw it into the sea. Shake the dust off. Cast your cares on the Lord. Have the joy of the Lord because it's your strength. Know that he's always with you. In every single thing that you do. Acknowledge him. Get in the word. Have that relationship with him. Keep your gaze planted on him. And everything else will crumble and go away. Because you're putting your trust in him. And you're having faith, a rock-like faith, a faith on fire that is incinerates everything that comes around it that is not of God. Hallelujah. I love you. Be blessed. If this blessed you, please share it. But God is for you, not against you. And you are a blessing. And you have a purpose. And you're not staying down because we get back up like the roaring lion, bold and confident that God has created us to be. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for the Faith and Fire podcast with Megan Fortner. We look forward to having you again next week on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. Each episode comes from a live conversation Megan will have with folks that have a story to tell pointing to the faith and fire that only comes from Jesus. Share it with your friends and we'll see you next time on Faith and Fire with Megan Fortner.